Described here is the proper use of a special DNA collection kit specifically used for genetic testing. The procedure for collecting DNA is different from other types of buccal and throat swabs used in the clinic. It is important to adhere to the procedure described here and also shown on the enclosed instruction insert. Improper technique will either contaminate the DNA sample or not provide enough material for testing. Some precautions to note. Do not touch the tips of the DNA collection swabs. These are sterile and only use the collection device provided to you and described here. Do not substitute any other type of swab. Follow these instructions exactly. First, complete all the patient and date information on the small clear dry pack envelope. A fine point sharpie works well. Please write clear and legibly. Next, have the subject rinse their mouth well with pure water. Next, tear open the package from the bottom and slide out one swab. Hold it by its plastic shaft. Remember, do not touch the DNA collection swab tip. Ask the subject to open their mouth wide and carefully without touching the DNA collection tip to any other surface, such as teeth. Place the tip of the DNA collection swab against one side buckle or cheek side of the mouth. Rub the DNA collection swab up and down against the cheek 30 times. There should be a little pressure applied to ensure cell collection but not enough to cause discomfort. As you rub the swab up and down, occasionally rotate the swab to ensure every part of the tip surface collects some cells. Also rub inside the gum line. The goal is to collect as many cells on the swab as possible. Place the DNA collection swab into the small clear dry pack envelope tip first. Now remove the second swab remembering not to touch any surfaces with the DNA collection tip. Rub the DNA collection swab up and down against the other inner side of the cheek 30 times, rotating the tip occasionally as you did before. Remember to use slight pressure to collect the maximum number of cells from the cheek surface, but don't cause any discomfort. Again, also rub inside the gum line to collect as many cells as possible. Now place the second swab into the dry pack right next to the first one. DNA collection tip end first. Seal the dry pack by taking off the protective strip and pressing down the self-adhesive flap firmly to create a tight seal. Now place the dry pack into the large Ziploc bag along with the supplied desiccant pack. Enclose the sample. Ensure the patient information is correct. Seal the bag. Store the sample in the secure refrigerator sample storage area until ready to send into the lab for testing.